This is a model we recently created. It enables airlines to visualize their schedules. The model involves aircraft moving from airport to airport. What makes this model special is that movements are made in free space. No links are used. No links must be added when adding a new airport. Let's take a look at the data. First, we have an aircraft table that basically just contains the tail ID of the aircraft. Then we have routes. These routes contain the identification number of the aircraft, the departure time, the destination, as well as flight times. These flight times can be either fixed values or can follow a uh, statistical distribution. If we run the model, we see aircrafts are initially positioned at their home base, then move to other airports according to the definitions that we saw previously in the data tables. and so forth. If we want to add a new airport, what we'll do is we'll take a basic node, we'll place it on screen, and we'll rename it. In this case, YWG for Calgary Airport. Once the node has been renamed, we'll attach a process that we've named airport process to the node. Once that's done, we'll go to our data table and we'll add it to one of the current routes that are defined. So here we'll place it. So at one point, the plane is going to leave Vancouver. Flight departure time will be at uh, 1500 hours. Destination is the new airport YWG and the flight will last 2.5 hours. Once a route has been changed, we can go back to the facility view and run our model. And what we'll see at the end, at 1500 hours, one of the two planes that are stationed in Vancouver will head out to the newly defined airport in Winnipeg, YWG. At 1500 hours, a plane will depart Vancouver heading to the newly defined Winnipeg Airport. If we can help you in any way, don't hesitate to contact us. Have a great day.